This episode of White Paper Podcast is proudly sponsored by Kaoshi. Kaoshi, your go-to for international money transfers. Convenient, affordable, made for you. www.kaoshi.network Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this episode of the White Paper Podcast. Come on, somebody go wild. You're not shouting, you're not clapping, you're not jumping, you're not, you're supposed to be flipping some assaulting or some assaulting, maybe some are sugaring. Why sets of assault when there's sugar? <laughs> anyway, welcome to the podcast. Thank you for your love and support so far on the different platforms. Thanks for, for your reviews, for your referrals, for your comments, for your engagement. Thank you to everyone who has supported with a like, a share, a comment, and all of that. It keeps getting better. And I'm very excited today because we've got someone amazing, amazing, her maze is in, in the corn tree. <laughs> she is a force in her industry. She is passionate. She's accomplished. She is a big woman, but she's very down to earth. She's down to earth, but up to heaven. Do you understand? Right. So she's spiritual. She's intelligent, insightful, a charismatic, energetic. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand up wherever you are right now. Flip, somersault, jump, thump, stomp. <laughs> As you receive the dynamic funke, Buckner, Obrute. Come on, somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much Thank for you. making our time. Thank I know that you're, you're a very busy person. Well, everybody's busy. Bro. And I also appreciate the work that you do. The mileage, your mileage, your footprints, very, very heavy. As you just zaffa, 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 zaffa. Right. Uh, and we're going to start with that. So you are a force in the nation, mm. particularly in your industry. Mm. When I say force, you're not a military force. So I, <laughs> I don't force people, but, but you've made such a mark, such a difference. And there are many young people watching this right now mm. who are like, okay, how I go be, <laughs> how you go be, <laughs> you know? So how did you start a bit of your journey? If you have any stories of struggle or did you drop from heaven? Like, Wah! and then <laughs> things just there working. Hey. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Um, Ooh, wow, how did I start? I, you know, I, I sometimes when I get this question, I always look for different versions or look for how to maybe change the story a bit. Just this is the same story, but <laughs> hearing it in a different Freshness, way. Yeah. So um I did start, first of all, I started um, I would say mainly from I would say law school. Mm. I studied law. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I studied law in University of Lagos. And then from greatest, there... Yes, greatest! 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 Yes, greatest! 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 Oh, <laughs> organize every, every other, other day. day. Yes, yeah. if I sang that song because of me, <laughs> really? So yes, for real, for real. <laughs> We're supposed to be wearing your wig, and you wiggled out of. <laughs> Of that. of that and then were there pushbacks from family and friends and all of that okay thank you it's a very good question um definitely you you said it right at that time you know we had to study some setting some setting courses and that was just because our parents this mm. is what they knew this mm. is what they thought was the path yeah and you know in a way i'm always saying you know what you never just know how life will turn so yeah. that was a lesson that I even learned. And I'm actually having to actually deal with that with my own children at the mm. moment. But yeah, so I studied law. My parents, I, I told my parents, after uh, law school, of course, my parents wanted me to practice. So I went yeah. to practice in a law firm. Mm. But I practiced for just a week. One week? Yes, one week. I think it was in one year. No, so I resumed on Monday. <laughs> by Friday, I said, Daddy, oh my gosh. I can do this. This is the shortest career yes. experience. I said, I can't do this. I, I, I can't. <laughs> I, I won't be able to cope. So I left. 
and I went to work in an advertising agency. Mm. So, which was during my NYC period. So I used, because NYC is always a good time to kind of maybe know what you want to do, what you don't want to do. So during the NYC period, I was working in this advertising agency, but I was also planning events on the side, you know, for my friends yeah. and things like that. But when I saw that it was getting a bit too hectic and I was going to, I was about to finish NYC. Mm. That's when I told even my boss then, my late boss, that I wanted to go into events. And he said, oh, he gave me all his blessings. I told him I needed to go to um, um, a business school and things like that. Now, my parents, for my dad and my mom, when I said I wasn't going to even practice, I wasn't going to even work, I was going to run a business for myself, my <laughs> parents were afraid. Yeah. Which is normal. Yeah. You know, because look, they're thinking they've sent you to school. Mm. Maybe they want to start reaping the reward of their labor. <laughs> then they are now going to start taking yeah, care of you again. again. So they're, 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 because they've never seen it before. Yes. They, they didn't get it. But they, but they still said, okay, you know what? Go ahead. If that's what you want to do, go on. And that was how it started. I went on. I started doing what I wanted to do. And along the way, they caught on. Mm. And they were happy. And they were like, the I'm telling you, oh, my daughter. Oh, she's a number one event planner. Oh, mm. ah, you don't know her. Oh, wow. Forget about Nozab fire they were telling people about you know wow. me so that transition i know that it wouldn't have been easy for my my, my late dad and my mom mm -hmm. but it was something that they had to agree to maybe mm -hmm. they were like you know what well, let us give her a chance, chance. let us see let's whether see. Yeah. she will even do well or yeah. not you know if i maybe if i had failed i would have come back to them and say ha daddy <laughs> I'm, I'm, sorry. Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry let me wear my wig and with back <laughs> you know but um, to God be the glory, I was able to Break get out of that. Yeah. And then, of course, you know, start doing yeah. amazing events mm. and everything. So that was, um, I would say, um, my break. Then, even with friends. So, I mean, I had a lot of friends. We all studied law. I have friends that studied different courses. There were people that said, this is not going to work. There are people that told me it wasn't going to work. What you were doing. Oh, yeah. You can't do events <laughs> now. In Nigeria, I will pay. So there were people that said, nobody's going to pay. The bird is of a pioneer. Yes, right. nobody's going to pay. You know, I will pay. Pay for what? To plan it. Uh, uh, <laughs> Something I can do by myself. Uh, this, oh, oh, no, until no, 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 no. the food does not show up. Yes, Something so people, I can do by myself. Yes, so until... people did say that. <laughs> but I had people that also said, Fuke, you need to charge. So it was one of my yeah. cousins who said to me, Fuke, you need to start charging. Because I wasn't mm. charging. I was doing it because I loved oh, it. Oh, just for so the passion. Said, Start charging. I said, hey, wow. I, they'll pay. I said, okay, try. And that's what I said, okay, this is my bill. Wow. This is the fee. And people were paying. And even when I was like, yeah, hey, hmm. they are paying. You know? Ah, I started increasing. They are paying. Wow. If I, well, a lady told me recently, she said, ah, she remembers when I came to her 20 years ago and I said I wanted to plan her wedding. I said, she laughed at me because then I was very small. She said, she looked like this tiny girl. I said, okay, I'm sorry. She said, ah, forget now. I just said, I'm sorry. Oh I'm gosh. sorry. And now I know, God, I'm sorry. You know, we're just wow. laughing. So, but I understand. So, and do you I, plan events for her now? Yes, I've like, done it. I've done for her family. Self. Amazing. A lot of people have family. Amazing. <laughs> yes. That, that's, yes. That's a big mm -hmm. one because it's so inspirational. Like, yeah. this is a real story mm -hmm. because there's somebody who's going through that right now, either as a painter or yes. digital marketer mm -hmm. or app developer. And people are just like, what are you up to? Exactly. Right. And I'm very big on the backstory. Mm. So you said your parents were concerned. Yes. Um, and then you went to an advertising uh, agency. Yes, yes. Did you find a lot of icing there for the cake? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh God. As a D. Emma Kwami. I give life away. I don't think it's the way. Oh, yeah, me, oh, yeah, me, oh, yeah, me. Right. So, but I, I think I want to highlight a couple of things. Yes. Why would you say you broke through? Because, you know, somebody said to me, yeah. um, he's pastoring a, a big ministry. Yeah. And so he said to me, he says, when I started, started my ministry, our ministry, that there are many people that started at the same time. And that many times he looks around and I can't find many of those people. I guess it happens yes. in almost every industry, every yes. space. Mm -hmm. Um, sometimes it has nothing to do with what people did wrong because life also happens. Yes. Right. But in spite of that, we can highlight what people did right. Yes. Right. So I'm sure there were certain things you did right that made your parents go like, ah, okay, let's give her a blessing. Mm -hmm. So what are some of those disciplines or practices or virtues? Okay. Thank you. I, uh, that's a very good one. Um, I think that one of the first things was, I wanted to be excellent at what mm, I was doing. Mm. I was very pat passionate about it. So mm. I was, 
I, I, it was excellence or nothing. I, I, I was diligent. I was hardworking. Mm. So I wasn't sleep. I wasn't, I, I, I was focused on what I wanted to do. And I, I had to go and say, okay, you know what? This is the vision. This is the plan. This is what I'm trying to do. How can I get there? What do yeah. I need to do? So I surrounded myself with people that also helped me, that advised me. Yeah. But the key thing was being excellent. Excellent. I was like, you know what? I have Come to on. be excellent. No matter what is happening, I have to be. And then maybe that also came from my background, mm. from, you know, even just apart from even when I was younger, where my parents taught me that, my, my pastors in church also taught me excellence. You know, like, hey, gay, you have to be excellent as a yeah. Christian. Yeah. You must be excellent. Do you understand? So excellence was part of it. Being hardworking was part of it. Mm. You know, not being sloppy, not being slothful, not being lazy, not feeling like, oh, tell you us, will tell come us. to me. Mm. Do you understand? Mm. I had to work mm. hard for it. Mm. So that was it. Of course, diligent. You know, I was being very diligent. You know, another thing that I know that I did was I ensured, I made sure that even if I made a mistake, because I did make mistakes at the early yeah. stages, yeah. and I still make mistakes. Even if I did make mistakes, I did not allow it to define the next um, project I was going to do. What did I learn from that mistake? And every single time, it's something that has always kept me going. That look, mm. you know what? Even if you do make a mistake, you can correct yourself. Yeah. Just correct and move. You know. So I think those are the things that kind of helped me at the initial stage. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Yeah. A lot of meaty wisdom <laughs> inside that. So yeah, meeting up with expectations. If I actually as a meeting, can we have a, a meeting? Yeah. To get the meat in. Of the expert. <laughs> All right, we're going to be taking a break shortly. But before we go on a break, I want to ask, um, you made certain wise decisions. We're going to look at that, decisions and then mistakes. But I want to ask this question. When people look at you, it's easy for them to say, ah, she's from, maybe she had a, a lot of money when she was starting or she has a big name, or she's connected. So there are people all over the world, or let me say all over Nigeria, Africa, many parts of Africa, especially young people, that are waiting for that big, they want to hammer, that's the word. Yes. Let me, not, they're not carpenters, but they want to hammer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. right, so did you have like one sponsor, sugar daddy, big money spender, <laughs> somebody that hey. was supplying the funds, I did, because this is, I'm particular about this. There's a, lo a lot of young people, especially ladies, who are maybe like 20, 21, and they're just like, ah, you get one guy now, if you arrange something for you, all, the, all of those kind of things. Did you ever have to deal with any of those kind of things? Or how did you build your capital and your resources? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, well, I've never been, first of all, you know, I think a lot of things also have, has to do with mentality. Mm. So ever since I was young, I've just never been those depends. the girl that even depends on maybe a, a guy i've never i just never it's not maybe that maybe there are girls like that I, I just wasn't that girl but at the same time i you know maybe those kind of things don't even cross my mind you know i, I always say that <laughs> a lot of times i think that even with women there's that maybe people think that oh that's how we should be but it's mm. not you know mm. a lot of women work hard a lot of people um you know want to they always they have value to give but they, and most of the time, even if they're struggling or whatever, they just have to find a way. So for me, yeah. when I started, I started with what I had. Mm -hmm. So I think maybe the encouragement I want to give anybody for this is starting where you are is so important. Yeah. Yeah. So I started from where I was, what I had. So what did I need? Even at the time, at the time, it wasn't, I, I didn't, I didn't need a huge capital to begin. Okay. Yeah. So I just started what I had. So what are the things that I needed to do? You know, that there was no internet, no yeah. of, So you needed, even needed to print your card, write your document, go to this. So I, I used all I had mm. with me, all my little, little savings that I've been saving. And maybe a little help here from my dad, maybe some money here, some money here from my, you know, just to put things together. So yeah. I kind of use most of my savings mm. to do what, to, 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 to get to what I needed. Mm. Do you understand? So that's how I started with my capital. I was by, 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 well, I would say by myself. And then I started, as it was growing, I started putting back. 
So I wasn't going and spending. It was growing. I'll put it back. Oh, I need to do this. Oh, okay. Back and I need to hire. Yes, I yeah. need to hire people. Oh, I need to hire that. I need to do this. I need to get this done. I need to get a car. I need to. So I started putting it back into the business. So that was how I kind of started. But it was more from, I would say myself, but for anyone that even needs capital, mm. you know, maybe you need capital. You first of all need to, what people look for whenever you want to start any business or anything, mm. what have you invested yourself? Mm. What have you put in? Yeah. Do you understand? You're yeah. pretty yeah. I want people to help me. Yeah. You, what have yeah. you done? Yeah. You know, you want you maybe you 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 say you're a cake baker. Have you even baked a cake mm. that we have even seen? Or you are looking for people to give you money to bake <laughs> ten cakes? Why well, you have not even baked one. one? Let them see the cake, one cake that yeah. you're gonna build. Yeah. You know, you do decor, whatever you think that you do. What is the little thing that you have done? True. That would let somebody else see and say, okay, well, let me invest in this person. Yes. Business-wise, let me invest in this person mm. in every area. Because people mm. usually people invest in you yes. before they even invest in, in your, your business. business. So it's about you first. They want to see what you've done. No, no, no. I need to I, so, what? <laughs> I have to drop an off. This one's my car. Oh key. I my can't goodness. give you the car. You can't give me. Uh, you should have tried. Give me that. Uh, <laughs> I got to have the car downstairs. No. <laughs> so yeah, so that's it. You already have character so no need to <laughs> let me pray. this offering is not uh, a lot but uh, let me, are you let me. really, give, are you really that, oh, you're preaching are you serious yes. oh wow it's real oh. <laughs> yeah, it's, real. <laughs> it's not fake money <laughs> no, I'm, I'm feeling the fire i'm feeling the fire <laughs> guys there's so much fire on set right now <laughs> not physical fire i beg no bonus to studio <laughs> right but after this break we're gonna go deeper we'll okay. get into the tactics the steps, the to-dos, okay. um, in one point, in three points, all this kind okay. of thing, so that people can go like, I've been inspired, but now how do I use I all of that? Yeah. But I have to pick on a word you said. Mm. You said people are going to ask you, what have you put in? Yes. And the good thing is you don't have to be Russian to put in. Oh, oh, wow. <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> That was a good one. <laughs> on that note, <laughs> on that note, <laughs> I'm going to go with all those. <laughs> on that note, not the bank note, too, but I'm sure a new note now. <laughs> all right, so we're going to be back and then it's going to be amazing. Stay connected, stay tuned, and see you in the second segment right after this break. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. It's such a thrill to still have you on here. If you have a friend, a loved one, a family member, even your enemies, if they can become your friends, if you send them this podcast because of the value, right, um, that is reposed in it. So just want to take a quick moment to appreciate our sponsors, our partners, Global Greatness, a community of high value entrepreneurs who are doing great work in the culture. And of course, Genius X, like I love to say, your ex may not be a genius, but it can be a member of Genius X, a community of brilliant minds who are transforming the world with their gifts, ideas, and creativity in a profitable and sustainable way. And Dreamstream, Cussing your dreams to stream and dream space where your dreams come alive. If you'd like to sponsor or partner with us on any episode or an entire season, or you want to pay for a white paper podcast for the rest of our lives, like 2000 years worth of sponsorship, we're open to that and more. <laughs> Just send your details to plus two, three, four, nine, zero, eight, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I will be glad to use your money judiciously to spread wisdom across the world. Right, pay attention to this and we're going to see you in a minute. Joy lives in Accra, Ghana. Her son studies in the United States. Every month, she has to send $350 to him through her bank. Transfer fees and unfavorable exchange rates that put her total money transfer cost at over 12% are always levied against Joy. This is a very unpleasant and tiring experience for Joy. On the other side of the Atlantic is Kwame, an engineer who works in the United States. Kwame is a great son who loves his mother dearly. He sends $350 to his mother every month. He prefers to visit a physical store to make payments directly. Kwame has to deal with expensive fees and the horrible exchange rates, which are well below the interbank rate. But what if Joy could decide to pay Kwame's mother in Boku using domestic payment platforms like MTN Mobile Money? while Kwame could pay Joy's son in the United States using domestic platforms like PayPal or Zelle. Voila! No money crosses the border! 
Using the Kaoshi mobile app, Joy can post a request to send money to her son in the US. Kwame in the US can see this request on the Kaoshi app on his phone and match Joy's offer. They exchange payment details for their recipients. They sign into their local payment platform in their respective countries and make payment on behalf of each other. Now from the comfort of their homes, Joy and Kwame can send money to their loved ones. No more wahala! So it's been exciting gleaning the wisdom from this amazing bundle of abilities and talents and enthusiasm. One of the things I really appreciate about you is that you have this raw energy. It's like a volcanic eruption. <laughs> Just a volcanic eruption causing disruption regardless of who's suffering from constipation. Oh, God. <laughs> All because you are great in your occupation. Ah, <laughs> rapper, no more. Rapper, wait in the rap. Now, moi, moi, I've been a echo. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, so we can wrap this up at some point. Let's talk about some tactical things. Um, your story is inspiring. Your industry has now become very competitive. Right. I know that you're one of the outliers, so you still have your market and all, but it's become more competitive. I mean, like maybe 20 years ago, it was maybe you and two or three other people yes. that were really in the culture and the media. Now you have a lot of people, you know, the broad spectrum from people who are in their 60s, 50s, and then you have the young years, yeah. <laughs> right? How are you dealing with competition? Do you believe in business competition? Some people would be like, no, I don't believe in competition. I'm my only competition. I'll do myself. You know, different strokes for different folks. How are you handling uh, the competition? Are you still as busy as you've always been? How have you maintained your clients? Um, and in, I believe in your case, not just maintain, you've actually grown your client base and you're possibly in a place of uh, precision and selectiveness. So just speak to all of that in terms of business and, and growth. Okay, thank you very much. Um, okay, so... I like the question. When people ask me about competition, I always say that, and even for me, there is competition. Competition, okay, so let me let me start from the, you, you said something, you said when you started, it was just two or three, and now there's so many um, others. The truth about it is, and this is also, maybe this will also take me to a little mistake and that people also make that you, I would say, even everybody needs to correct, mm -hmm. you know, going forward. When you start a business, really when you're a pioneer, you know, you have a first mover's advantage, you're yeah. the first person, you're doing everything, blah, 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 blah. You need to plan for when mm -hmm. there are more people in your space. So when there are more people in your space, mm -hmm. what will you be doing? Mm -hmm. So you need to plan. Mm -hmm. Now for us, for a few years, we enjoyed that for a while. But as the industry became bigger, more saturated, new people came in, it was a case of, hey, Zafaya, what's, what are you doing? Mm. What is different about you? I mean, we've always known what was different, mm. but it was just a case of people were coming up with new, so, you know, newer ideas, ideas maybe yeah. newer concepts, newer way of doing, newer, newer ways of doing things. So you always have to look in, in your business every single time. You always have to look for how to be better than what you've done the last time. Yeah. And which would help you to even look at. So you, there's competition. There's competition. There's not, whether we are co-competitors, <laughs> we are collaborators, we are, we, we, they're every, every yeah. people. And you're not even just competing with fellow planners. Mm. You're competing with clients yeah. that say that they are now planners. You're yeah. competing with the digital space that yeah. they are planning. That everybody can carry and go and be planners. <laughs> you're competing, competing with people even in the space that feel like they can do what you do. Mm. And whether it is it is um, your clients, whether it is people on the space. You are competing with people that will even just carry a phone, carry their inter uh, the um, internet, go on uh, maybe a social media platform and say, I can plan my event from here. So you're not just competing with people. So how do you deal with that? Yeah. So the only way you deal with that is you need to make sure that your company, the organization, our company, our organization, knows the reason why it's doing what it's doing. Awesome. So why are you so doing what you're doing? Purpose. What is your why? Do you understand? Yeah. What is your why? When you, know, of course, you know your why. You know how to begin to say, how do you begin to make this why continue to be relevant? Mm. Continue to appeal to different clients and yeah. different generations. Yeah. I had something just yeah. yesterday. Somebody said, we are catering to lifestyles mm. and lifestyles change. Oh so whether God. generations are changing or not, lifestyles will change. That's true. So you are dealing with uh, someone that was young at this time who yes. just got married. Yes. As they grow older, yes. they, they need something 
else? Different, how are yeah. you catering to that? Yeah. Which brings me to how do you maintain clients? How do you keep on? How do you continue to be stay even relevant? Mm. So stay relevant is first of all you have to keep on reinventing. Mm. So reinvention, a lot of people think that reinvention is that you have to do something drastic. No, mm. just look understand your market. Mm. What do they want? Mm. Understand your markets at different times because you're going to have different markets. True. You're going to have different clients and at different times. Mm. So the client that I mean, I remember when. I was planning events. When I started planning events 20 years ago, I was 25. You know, I was planning events for my friends. So it was easy. I already knew who was getting married. All my friends yeah, were all getting married. I, I so we're that. planning events for ourselves. Do you understand? But along the way, my friends started getting older. Mm. They were not planning their weddings anymore. Mm. So the younger sisters were getting married. Their younger brothers were getting married. Yeah. How do you stay relevant? Yeah. Then parents... Yeah. I, I, years ago, it was the parents that dictated everything. That's true. <laughs> now the young people are dictating, but they are not the one paying. Ah. So, so how do you balance? Set of thank you. How do you balance the young people with their parents? So then you are dealing with birthdays. People are turning. I, I remember when I was twenty-five. I dreamt that I wanted to also plan forty-year-old a forty-year-old birthday. Mm. I couldn't plan a forty-year-old birthday when I was twenty-five. Yeah, I didn't know any forty-year-olds. Uh, so now I know forty-year-olds. I know fifty-year-olds. I know sixty-year. Now I'm not even plan an eighteen-year-old birthday because. The 18 year old doesn't think that maybe I'm cool enough <laughs> to plan to an 18 year old. Yeah. So everything is also about. The metaverse. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. So everything is about times and seasons as well. Yeah. But to understand that you have to const constantly reinvent yourself, Absolutely. you const reinvent your business, constantly re strategize. Never forget your vision. Mm. Mm. Never forget your mission. Don't mm. forget why you're doing what you're doing. Mm. But you must constantly re strategize. Yeah. Constantly think. Constant, you know, be in competition with yourself. Self. Then also look at, also even look, let me say, it's like some products. You, you know some products, some people, every, you, everybody in the offices, they, there's no way somebody will say, ah, this particular product, why are they selling more in the market? Mm. What is going on? What is their brand strategy? Mm. What are they doing right? Mm. What are we not doing right? Yeah. Okay, but you know what? Maybe we're losing market share. You must constantly, you must study. Yes. So even if you, you cannot be in a cocoon and say, oh, we're not going to look, we're, we're just going to be by ourselves. No, yeah. because you have to understand what some people are doing right. Yes. But the key thing is what you do right, what you do well, do it so well yeah. that nobody else can do it like you. That is one thing. So you must master your own the reason your the reason why people, what makes you different. Yes. Master it so why well. Always come back. Yes. To you. Master mm. it. Like make sure even if it's one thing, I always tell my team if it's one thing that we do well, that one thing that we do well, we'll do it five hundred percent mm. better than everybody else. Mm. And the reason why they will come to us. So once you know that you have a target uh, audience. Your, your ideal client. You have yes, to know your ideal, ideal client. client. Who's your ideal client? Yeah. Understand your ideal client so that even if you don't have that kind of client or you have a client that's not yet, you re recognize it immediately. Yes. So you you recognize it. Decision fast. Exactly. <laughs> you know, this one is not for us. Bye-bye. <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. So it yeah. helps you. So I would say those are the things that have helped. Reinvention, re-strategizing, constantly, you know, looking, you know, ahead, always constantly looking. What? What are events going to be like in 2023? What will they be like in 2022? Mm. What will they be like in five years' time? You know, what's going to be happening? What do we need to be doing better? Oh, we're doing birthdays. We're doing corporate events. We're doing lifestyle events. We're doing social events. Oh, we're doing weddings. How are weddings going to be in the next 10 years? How are weddings going to be in another, you know, lifestyle? So those, those are the things that you need to just keep on doing. Amazing. This is like mm. a business school. Mm. <laughs> yeah, this is like, that is like MBA, <laughs> right? Of course, MBA, that's because you have a mega bank account. Mega bank account, MBA. MBA. Ah, I receive it. Yeah, at least you didn't say Mba. Uh -uh, I Are receive you, it, yes. Yes, yes, I didn't say Mba. No. <laughs> All right. <laughs> but I, I, lo I love the wisdom. It, it's a lot. Okay. Amazing. So you said something earlier. You say you must know your why. Yes. And that's because if you don't know your why, you can't get to your Z. Yes. <laughs> or your D or F or G. <laughs> I love it. All right. Describe yourself in three words. Ah. Three words. Ah, I is never, one. You said oh, ah. No, that's, one. I, that's not one. <laughs> that's, I'm getting to the answer. So I would say, wow. I think there's been a lot. I would say, of course, energetic. Um, <laughs> lovable. Oh. <Aww. laughs> I think. <laughs> Did you hire me? No. <laughs> this is no. <laughs> um, and I would say, um, 
I would say a go getter. Yes. Really. Yeah. That's it. Energetic, lovable go getter. Go getter. Oh, wow, that's that's something new. Mm-hmm. LG. Mm-hmm. LG. LG. Mm-hmm. Energetic, lovable go getter. But if you remix it, that's lovable. Energetic go get a leg. leg. Yes. Because leg. you do leg work. <laughs> Even at work. Ah. You do leg work at work. <laughs> your leg they work. Oh god. And your work has legs. Oh. That's why it's traveled to Far. a great day. <laughs> this wisdom is a lot. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So please share with us. I want like some stories of either loss or heartbreak or a, a job that went bad. Have you ever lost money on a project? Like maybe the client didn't like what you supplied or the suppliers or the vendors or the timing or the texture or the mood or the tone or the music, anything. Yes. And then you were actually like in deficits or something on that project. Mm -hmm. How did you handle disappointment? How do you manage the relationship? How do you bounce back? Okay. Very, in fact, that is something that people need to know that there's no... um, I would say the smooth journey or there's no perfect, you mm. know, journey or perfect path. Um, there'll be times that you will definitely, you're going to experience so many things, mm. you know, that would probably make you wonder why you're doing what you're doing. So we've, I mean, we've experienced this several mm. times. We've lost, we've lost, we've lost events or wow. we've planned events that maybe haven't been as successful as we if a vision it to be. Yeah. And that is also maybe from the fact that maybe we didn't understand our client. Mm. We didn't understand the dynamics of the event. Or maybe I made a mistake or a member of my team made a mistake that made the event, the client wasn't happy. So maybe the client didn't pay the balance of the event. Wow. Oh, yes. And we had to now <laughs> sort it out ourselves. You know. Yes, but the client didn't pay the oh, balance. Wow. So we've had that before. Um, in fact, one event that we did where this happened that the clients refused to pay our balance. I remember it was such a, it was such a big blow for us because it was, it was in millions, you know, oh. and we had to pay everybody else. And so we suffered, you know, for that. Wow. But it was a, it was a mistake. It was an event that we, we couldn't control what happened, but it started, but it, it um, stemmed from us not understanding the client. Mm. So I always say that you have to understand the stakeholders of your event mm. and you have to learn, even in event planning, you have to learn how to be political. Mm. You have to learn how to be diplomatic. It's something like mm. I teach a lot. Mm. So you have to learn how to be diplomatic. In this instance, I did not see what was coming. So, I, but I learned from that. And f- to God be the glory, we're able to plan another event for the family, and it was amazing. Wow, great! And that was about, about seven or eight years after. So, <gasps> oh yes, yes. You know, so we've had that. We've had events where we've done events where things just didn't go well. You know, we've done, we did everything we could, but it just didn't go well. Mm. So it happens, it happens. And that's why I always say that when you, you, you get, there's a crisis or there's, you know, something goes wrong and you've done all you can, you just have to go back and say, okay, what could we have done better? Mm. But you don't beat yourself up. I've been, I've done events where I've been sad. I've been like, oh my God, why am I doing what I'm doing? I, I wow. want to give up. <laughs> I want to, I'm not doing it again. Wow. You know, everybody come and carry your load. Everybody go home. <laughs> you know, but um, because I know why I'm doing what I'm doing, mm. I know I want to, I want to spread joy. I want to mm. create happiness. I want mm. to make sure that I, I'm creating experiences for people. I'm taking the burdens of people yeah. you are a joy giver so yes, when you're a joy on, giver you don't just give up like that you don't yeah. say i'm not doing it again yeah. do you understand so you also that's why i say you have to dig deep into why you're doing what you're doing mm. you know money is good you want to make money nobody mm. is saying we must make money but it must be bigger than money there must be something bigger than what True. you're doing do you get what i mean yes. you know so that so disappointments have happened we've had losses in business we've had you know even our staff leaving At, when i was younger in business i did not have enough emotional intelligence to handle staff leaving. Mm. I, I, I kind of thought, oh my God, why are they going? <laughs> uh, after I've done, I've trained you and for five I'm years. For you, uh, what do you all. mean? I've sent you to America <laughs> for this. I've sent you to Dubai. Yes. I've paid, I've trained you. Then you are going. Ah, that thing affected me. Mm. But I started learning, you mm. know, years later that look, you know what? People will not, will, they don't go, they're not leaving because Maybe it's you. They're not leaving. They're leaving for different reasons. Mm. People will live for different reasons. Mm. I started understanding 
even life, you yeah. know, understanding business and see, seeing that, you know what, even in the big organization, people live now, yes. people will say, I'm going yes. to another company, become, yes. I'll be like, hey, with yes. all the money they're paying there. <laughs> so it's not about money. It's not about so I started money. understanding that, okay, you know what, people will live for different reasons. So that's I've suffered heartbreak in those areas, mm. you know, um, loss, even family wise, you know, like mm. I lost my sister, I lost mm. my dad mm. in the space of two years or even, you know, <sighs> so I've done one, I've suffered loss and crippling loss. So where you've mm. thought to yourself, I can't go on. Mm. Why should I continue? Why, mm. what is this life about? Ah, mm. uh, God, now, wow, you know, that kind mm. of thing. Yeah. But you know what? You just keep on moving. Mm. And one of the things that has helped, and I'm, I'm saying this because you said, how did you bounce back? Mm. One of the things that has helped is people. I'm a big, I'm a big believer in people. Mm. I believe that people are there to help you. Mm. I don't, I've always been helped by people. Mm. God is the ultimate, but you see, yeah. God is not going to come down yeah. to give you money. You just gave me money now. God is not going to just throw money down from the sky. Boom. Mm. It's a human being that will give you the money, right? Mm. Or money will be paid into your bank account, mm. Shah. Mm. It will be paid by somebody through a transfer, right? Mm. So you need people. Mm. You need people that are going to advise you, yeah. that will guide you, that will teach you, that will hold your hand. Mm. You need people. So I've always been surrounded. I am also a big believer in helping people, mm. giving to people, mm. teaching people, and I ha and it's, it's corresponding. Mm. So whether it may not be the person that gave to me, it's maybe somebody else giving to me or helping me, mm. but that people have helped. So people have encouraged, people have taught me, people have held my hand, mm. people have stood by me. Mm. When even, and when I mean people, I'm not just talking about my friends, I'm not talking about coaches, I'm not talking about pastors, wow. I'm even talking about my team. Wow. People that I work with. So even people that I work with, you know, they're like, hey, no, even we, when we have made mistake, and even me, their MD, is like, I can't do it again. They say, we'll do it too. <laughs> uh, we're going to move on. We're going to, in wow. fact, this one. You know, so that is, is so important. But, and even at that, what have you deposited in people? That's exactly what as I was well. just thinking. What have you given? Exactly. Something. For them to now come and say, ah, yes. this is how it will be. Yes. So people have helped me, you know, prayers, mm. um, you know, having that positive mindset, mm. having that gratitude mindset of, mm. hey, you know what? What's the, okay, this is the worst, it, but it's not the worst thing that's happened to you. There are many things. What has been good? <laughs> when it was good, what yeah. were, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Go back to the things that were good. Yeah. Think about the good things. Start yeah. thinking about the times that th things were rosy. Mm. Ah, then you start thinking. You start wow. thinking, you know. So yeah, this so those is, are the things that I said. You're a bundle of so many good things. <laughs> you're a businesswoman with a lot of wisdom. Not just wisdom, sense. Both of them are similar, but they are different. <laughs> <laughs> right. Sense is the right application of wisdom within context and yes, particular yes, scenarios. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> right. And then the, I mean you've offered some serious counsel here, some business mentoring advice, mm. some bounce back, you know. Um, we celebrate your, your dad and your sister of blessed memory and we honor the legacy of the work, you know, the work that they did. So there might be somebody who's listening to this and who goes, oh, wow, I went through that loss as well. I lost my, I didn't lose my dad. My dad passed. We didn't lose our loved ones. They passed. They passed. Okay, they passed. <laughs> they passed. They transitioned. They transitioned. Right. And. I know it can be a very trying thing. People that you've known all your life. But I think what you've said is part of part of what you do in terms of who are the good things. And that's what you build on. Those good times, those yes. good things, and then the difference that they made while yes. they were there. Let me just ask another one before we begin to taper down to the end of, of this episode. You've spoken about heartbreak. Let's talk about mistakes. Yeah. Right. Were there particular mistakes that you made? Um, maybe even recently, or when you started, you're like, I forget, you know, try, you know, you know, you, 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 you know, try. Right. And there's mm. specific things that you can share. Of course, there might be certain things that are personal, but things that you can share. And you're like, hey, if I had to do that again, I'll do this differently. I'll, you know, handle things this way. Oh, yes. Um, I think that. There's no, you know, I keep on saying it that there's no one that hasn't, um, that is perfect mm. or hasn't made mistakes, mm. you know. Um, so, you know, even in business, there are times that you wish that maybe you had taken an opportunity earlier that you didn't take. Mm. Or are you, the way you maybe let somebody go, mm. you know, when you were firing someone or when mm. somebody left, maybe you could have handled that situation a bit better. Mm. Um, I know that even when I was in business, Earlier in my business, I wasn't very good with 
um, showing empathy. I, mm. I had empathy in my mind, but I never really showed empathy. <laughs> you know, but I loved you, but I didn't know how to show you. So I wasn't very, um, how would I say this? I wasn't very, uh, I, I, so maybe people would, things would happen to people. And maybe what I, I thought what I could just do was call them and just say, how you doing? How you doing? Okay. Because that's how I was. Mm. I just didn't, I wasn't a very emotional. I see. Much, I, much I, well, sentimental. Yes. I'm like, oh, what's wrong? Flowers well, and yes. turkeys. Oh, people don't want to be crying with them every day. I don't have that kind of time. But apparently people, uh, yeah. people wanted you to know that yeah, you, they wanted yeah. to see that you cared so much mm. about them. So even where I thought, okay, let me just go and visit you or just yeah, send you. I so guess. it was later I would realize that, oh my God, I should have gone to see them. Mm. So now I make an effort. Mm. So now I'm very conscious mm. of building relationships with people, mm. with my team, with my, I mean, my friend, one of my friends said to me one day, Funke, you did not say, you didn't say greet me well when I lost my mom. Oh. And when she, when she lost her mom, and I, in my mind, I just thought, oh, calling her was okay. Mm. But in hindsight, I should have gone to sit down with her for days. Mm. I should have just been there for her. Mm. I didn't do that. Mm. And she, but thank God she told me. Yeah. What if she didn't tell me? Yeah. So I started learning that, you know what? People want that. People yes. care about that. Yes. So I started, you know, trying to be more, um, I would present say, present. Expressive. You know, can you, you know, I'm there for you. I wasn't like that growing up. I, I've never, just never been empathic, you know, showing empathy. I've yeah. done, I'm empathic, but I never showed it, showed it yeah. you know, and maybe I would say, because I, I, I was a deep bit, I've been a bit detached yeah. since I was younger. So when you are detached, you don't even see what is going on. You don't mm. understand why people are so emotional. People are too emotional for me. I just, ah, you know, so I started learning that. And that also affected me even work wise, mm. because my team wanted me to be Oh, show them I love them, appreciate them, you know, give them their flowers. I'm just like, if we've done a job, move yeah, on. Like, we're like a horticulturist. Hey, I'm like, which flower am I giving you? Please so, collect your flowers. I take it. So, I, so I started giving people their flowers, started appreciating people more. Um, you know, even times when I used to criticize, you know, people had to, I had to learn how to criticize in a better way. So I had to learn, okay, you know what, praise first, then mm. criticize me, I'll criticize you first. I don't have time for praise first. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you understand what I'm yeah. So I had to learn. So those are mistakes that I made, you know, that I know that I, then I had to start learning, you know, and correcting them. But, mm. and I always tell people that, you know, we, you can't say this is how I am. Even if you yeah. say this is how I am, yeah. you have to be self-aware. Yeah. And when you are self-aware, people also have to understand you. Mm -hmm. You also have to understand them. Yeah. Then you have to work on your, your yeah. the things that... So from self-awareness to self-development. Exactly. Yeah. So you have your strengths, you have your weaknesses. How do you build on the strengths and how do you even deal with the weaknesses? weaknesses. So that has also helped me also. It has helped me to manage people better. I didn't know how to manage people well. So I've learned how to manage people better to understand that ah, everybody's different. Because mm. me, ah, I'm too hyper. Mm. I'm, I've moved five steps. Somebody's still walking 10 steps behind me. I'm like, go away, Joe. You can't walk with me if you're walking like that. I'm about to say, okay, maybe I should walk three steps. Yes. Walk two steps. So that I can meet up with the person. Ah, it can be a bit. But those are the things that I had to learn. You know, oh, and, right. you know, little things like that. So yeah, yeah, so that's it. Even mistakes of, even not doing things at the, at, on time. Mm. So I use, I'm can, I can be, I can procrastinate for Africa. You know, I'm like, <laughs> okay, I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it next week. The next thing I'm like, ah, well, that was my idea. I had the idea. Yeah. God drops ideas in everybody, yeah. but I can't do your own. It's like rain. Yes. Yeah, so, if so you have the book yet to I had to start it. learning how to execute quickly, mm. get things done, you know, things like that. So yeah, yeah, those are some of the mistakes that I've made. Mm -hmm. Great, great, great. I think I'm going to ask just one or maybe two more questions. Okay. Let's talk about family and spirituality. Okay. Because you're a family person and you're spiritual as well. Yeah. Um, not everybody's able to handle all of that. Yeah. Uh, so for some people, the moment their businesses begin to grow, then their spirituality becomes non-existent. Or when their families begin to grow. Mm. Um, so how have you handled like all those different moving parts? And how, why do they matter to you? Okay, thank you. Um, you know, when you're growing up or even in life, you just have to, first of all, define your own values. Mm. What is important to you? What are things that are important? Even if growing up, it wasn't spelt out in your own family, but you saw it. Mm. So I grew up in a family of just two. We're just two girls, myself and my, my sister, my mom and my dad. We're just four. 
And my dad, I remember my dad, one, one of the things he used to do was take us out for lunch almost every Sunday. You know, I used to go out with my mom a lot. But my mom was work. My mom worked. My dad worked. So it wasn't like as if when I had a lot of aunties and uncles and nannies and stuff. But, you know, as you grow, you think to yourself, you're doing everything, but your family also matters. Mm. You know, and I'll come to spirituality later. But I'm just going to talk about family. So family matters. So it's about sacrifice. It's mm. about it being intentional. So being intentional in how you want your home to be. Mm. Um, you know, the sacrifices you have to make to be able to get things done. Mm. Um, it's not easy. I'm not nobody. I'm not going to come here and say, "Oh, it's just a perfect thing." No, <laughs> you know, it's about looking for the right. You know, even delegation. You know, right. having people help me. You know, my mom. I have um, a, a house manager that has been with mm. us for over ten years. Wow. That has been that's you know taking care of my children mm. with me. So you know things like oh school runs. I used to do school runs before, but like I can't do school runs as much as I would want to. Yeah. Some days I can. I try because those are the days times that you are bonding with the children. Yeah. My children are teenagers now, so. You you know, you have to spend that extra time with them. So yeah. children are there, my husband, how do you manage it? You know, so it's about just being intentional. Mm. It's about looking at what is important now, looking at what is important, you know, even in the future. What do you need to do to get it done, you know, mm. to get things right? Mm. You know, when they were younger, I remember I, I had to go, I remember things I had to do, go from, maybe I'll go for a meeting in the morning. I have a meeting, I have to travel at night, come back into, go to, so for my, to see my daughter, mm. do something, Go back. Just, wow, yes, just I have to, to do see that. Her. Yes, you know, so I have That's to do because they would remember yeah, that. Do you know understand yeah, what I'm saying? So yeah. it was important that I made sure that that family unit After was, that. was, um, worked. But I thank God for a supportive spouse who understood my lifestyle. And I made sure that that was very, I, I made sure that happened even before, before. we married. Oh. Come on, understand my life. My life is not a. Uh, my life is not like it is. Uh, I, I, go, I work hard though. I go out though. I work work late though. Don't come and say when we marry now. You say don't work. I'm not agree. Uh -huh. So when they say yeah, so when they say who you marry is important. That was very yeah. critical for me. I thank God for my husband. You know my children, my mom, all the people that are that are helping friends support a good support system. Uh, yeah. Good support system. So yeah. the team, with also even at work, yeah. when you have a good support system at work, mm. you can do things at home. Mm. When you have a good support system at home, you can do things at work. Wow, amazing. Abby, good. So that one is Solid. There. Yes. Then spirituality. Ah, that one, who are critical? <laughs> because we don't have any, but now only God. To run to. Ah, now run God, though, home. there's no, in fact, before anything else is God. Yes. And, you know, growing up, um, of course, I used to go to church, but it was when I was in university, I really, really found God, you know, that way, you know, where I now knew that, ah, this is the right way I want to go. So you have to hold on to God. Mm. There are days that, there are days that you don't want to pray. There are days that you don't want to even worship. There are days you don't want to talk to God. There are days that you are upset. There are days mm. that you are not upset. Mm. But you see, this God will say, I'm here. Now you they run. I don't know where you they yeah. go. You know that kind of thing. So yeah. it's Unchanging. important. Yes. Mm. So it's important that we understand that God is the ultimate. God, without God, without God giving us wisdom, without God telling us, okay, go here, do like this, go like this, you will just be going anyhow. Mm. So very important. So spirituality is very important to me. Um, finding God, holding on to him is important. Um, of course, it's not perfect all the time. I'm going to tell you that ah, every day, ah, pray from 3 a.m. to 10 a.m. Ah, no, pray. Nah. There are days. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Yeah. But because you know that it's in the word mm. that you can, Mm. Do the things you need, you need to do. Mm. It's in the word that you're, it's even the word. You know, when they just said, when I, I mean, during law, so like David encouraged himself in the, the Lord. Lord yeah. Now, it's in the inside Bible. God wrote it there for a reason to say, yeah. look, you will encourage yourself in me. Yes. You have to, I, I'm here for you. And you don't mm. understand, I'm your, the bomb. I'm the one that is going to hold you. There's nobody mm. that will carry you. Yeah. When there's nobody, there is me. So, spirituality is very important because it's what guides, it's what helps, you know, yeah. and uh, yeah, definitely. Huh, a lot to take in. Even though I'm not gonna get pregnant, but I can take it in. Puzzle dumps. <laughs> P dumps. <laughs> Thank you so much. Last question, then we're gonna play a little game. It'll take just about 10 minutes, less than 10 minutes. Last question. This energy. 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 Come off it. Come off it. Come off it. <laughs> You're going to dance for us, so I've said this. <laughs> but energy. How many because you do all these high powered events, and some of them are multi multi day events. Yes. Now, most of your events are in Nigeria. I know you've done a lot of work across the yes. world. Mm -hmm. Most of them are in Nigeria. <laughs> From my experience with Nigerians at parties, they can be a lot. Even though 
we are not Abraham. We have to deal with a lot, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> so there can be a lot demands, but but what impresses me is at the end of almost every event, you mm -hmm. have your own personal dance party. In fact, sometimes during the event. Yes. <laughs> yes. So so please, where do, number where do you find the energy from? Number two, is it like? A coping strategy is it like a, a personal therapy intervention is it just self-expression is it always out of genuine joy or does it trigger that i, I just want to okay. understand so that. thank you so that dance for me i've always danced i've always danced since i was young i've been since i was a little child i've always loved enjoyed dancing there's no way you put me there's no way i'm going i will dance so i've always danced and even for me planning events or doing anything Dance is just second nature to me. And I realized even while I was planning events throughout the years that dancing also gave my clients joy. Oh. So it gave me joy, but it also yeah, gave my clients joy. joy. Mm. So it was more like, oh, you know, oh, your dance, I love it, dance. You know, everybody is not going to love that I dance at events because I, I don't appeal to every client, mm. but I just love my dance. And I've had clients that would tell me, we didn't, why are you not dancing at my own events? Come and dance now. <laughs> Dance, really? get on the dance floor. Yes, and dance. Ah, really? Are you like, not happy with us? Like it's part of the package. Do you understand? You know, so, but I've learned that this is me. I love yeah. dancing. I'm, yeah. I'm just going to, because another thing I also want to tell someone who will listen to this is being yourself is so important. Being authentic, being real, being you is mm. important. At a point in my life, and ever since I was even young, people have said to me, oh, Funke, you're too hyper. You dance mm. too much. Oh, you're going all over the place. What's going on? And all that. But I'm just like, this is me. This is what I like. This is me. Even if I'm, if I'm too much for you, I'm not too much for somebody else. Yeah. So, but I had to express word, word. my dance. You know, mm. I have to show you that I love dancing. Mm. I like dancing. See me. Social media just amplified it because you would now, it was recorded. Oh, dead. Yeah, I've always been dancing. Yes, Real you can see. Time. Real time, you're seeing me. I'm dancing with a couple. I'm dancing with the, with the celebrant doing their birthday. I'm dancing. Even at the corporate events, I go and dance in the corner at the back. Even oh. they'll say, ah, but they'll say, well, we heard you dance. Come and dance with us. And I'm like, hey, ah, bank MD, okay, sir. I will dance. <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. So, it's important, but it's not, of course, I have to look at every situation. It's not yeah. every time yeah. I dance. If yeah. I'm planning an event, it's a funeral. I'm not going to start dancing in front of, you know, and all that. So I have to understand each of the events before I do that. <laughs> but I do love dancing <laughs> and it's a genuine joy for me. Yeah. And um, it's, um, it's become part of me. It's become part of me. I dance every time. I dance. Thank I, you for yeah. spreading joy. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for that. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, we've come towards the end of it. We're going to play a little game. And we're going to dance at the end of the game. Okay. I, mean, I don't know how to dance, but you teach me. Yes, I you show me a few steps. Yes. Right. Why do you want to show me steps so I can show me an elevator? They both can work together. <laughs> as long as we're going higher. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yes, uh -huh. I tried. Which so, I tried. You tried. Correct, 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 correct. Go, go, go. <laughs> So guys, um, there's so much wisdom in this episode. You have therapy inside this episode, spirituality, <laughs> business, mentoring, and coaching. In one episode, um, you have warmth and growth. And there's a lot. I want to share this with your friends, with your family, your loved ones, your community. Everywhere you can share. It's like a free business school mixed with some kind of coaching. <laughs> right? So share that. And we're going to be back to play a few games and then we're going to dance out so stay tuned joy lives in accra ghana her son studies in the united states every month she has to send 350 dollars to him through her bank transfer fees and unfavorable exchange rates that put her total money transfer cost at over 12 percent are always levied against joy this is a very unpleasant and tiring experience for joy on the other side of the Atlantic is Kwame, an engineer who works in the United States. Kwame is a great son who loves his mother dearly. He sends $350 to his mother every month. He prefers to visit a physical store to make payments directly. Kwame has to deal with expensive fees and the horrible exchange rates, which are well below the interbank rate. But what if Joy could decide to pay Kwame's mother in Boku using domestic payment platforms like MTN Mobile Money? while Kwame could pay Joy's son in the United States using domestic platforms like PayPal or Zelle. Voila! No money crosses the border! Using the Kaoshi mobile app, Joy can post a request to send money to her son in the US. 
Kwame in the US can see this request on the Kaoshi app on his phone and match Joy's offer. They exchange payment details for their recipients. They sign into their local payment platform in their respective countries and make payment on behalf of each other. Now from the comfort of their homes, Joy and Kwame can send money to their loved ones. No more wahala! Welcome back to White People Podcast. My name is Damiel Rotenbo, the creator of White People Wisdom, White People Merch, White People Airlines, White People Intergalactic Cosmos, <laughs> White People Island, White People Everything. I don't know what else God is going to add to this great movement, right? So I'm just open White People Blanks. So speaking about blanks, we're going to be playing a game which is filling the blanks. Hey. So I'm sure that some part or the other, you've seen me hold the white paper on social yes. media or whatnot. Yes. So what do you think about the white paper thing? What do you think about it? In what sense? As in general, what are your thoughts about what I but share? Creative, in a witty, creative, in, of course, in a witty way, and you pass information. Yeah. All right. So it's a good thing. We should continue oh, yeah, 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 yeah. it. We should stop. No, it's a good thing. Because <laughs> we're learning. We're oh. getting <laughs> All right. So... I'm going to I'm going to um, take out some words from some white paper posts I've done before. Ah, and you're supposed to guess based on how you know my mind works and the rhyme or the rhythm okay. or the this one and that one. Hey, so this one. <laughs> Already. Sometimes being on the right diet is the right way to ensure you don't dash dash. Sometimes being on the right diet is the way to ensure you don't. It has to do with your industry, something you use in your events. You don't. You don't eat. <laughs> You're very close. <laughs> In the right diet, you don't be wrong. You don't know. No, mm -mm. it's not working. <laughs> ah, if I give you another being clue, on the, being on you, the... you hinted on something that has to do with it in the last one of the last lines you you spoke that you don't dance at certain places and all. So being on the right diet is the way to ensure you don't. Actually, one of your assistants even got it because <laughs> I could see her lips. <laughs> Oh, okay. Being, say it again. Being on the sometimes right. being on the right diet uh -huh. is the way to ensure you don't die yet. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't Voltron. Yes, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's way to ensure you don't die yet. Okay, uh -uh. this one. <laughs> <laughs> it was right. It was right. I'm trying to look for one that is not too like complex. Mm. All right. So with all the makeup some people own, they still can't dash dash their minds. They can still make up their minds. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. All right. I'm, I'm happy you got them. Yeah. <laughs> Those are pretty chill. They're not too hard. Are and... mm. All right. Great. So the final game we're going to play is you're going okay. to write your own white paper. Ah. Uh, but you know, we usually write it uh, this way. Like this way. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you're left handed. Yeah. That's so cute. My brother's left handed. And oh, I, nice. I always felt it's so special to write with your left hand. <laughs> Unique. All right, but I will give you two keywords. Okay. Right. So the two keywords would be Zephyr and best events ever. But you can't say Zephyr events gives you the best events ever. It needs to have something to do with wisdom. Or, ah. So it's not just information. There's mm. something really cool. You can take some time to think about it. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. 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 Okay. Hmm. <laughs> If you need another shit, there's actually yeah. another. The, 
is actually another shit. Ah. Yeah, you got it done. Okay, wait, ah, no, I don't know. Let me get that. Let's go. Eh? Eh? No, sir, I can use a fire. I should use a fire. Ah, oh God, can you leave? Zafaya, what was the other keyword? Best event ever. Okay. <laughs> hey! <laughs> <laughs> yes, man. <laughs> you can remove this. Okay. Yeah. So I didn't write it like your own. I said, with Zafaya by your side and holding your hand, you can soar high above the best event ever planned. Um, <laughs> we'll, we'll give it, it to you. Really we'll give it to you. We'll give it to you. I saw our event. Yes, Zafaya. Fly. So thank you so much. It's been a pleasure having you on thank our you. set thank and you having you in the first season of uh, White People Podcast. Thank you. Thank you for the work that you do. Thank you. For the, thank you for the time you've taken out. Thank, thank you for you. vulnerability, your honesty, your purity, and your diligence over the years. Thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you very much. Pleasure. <laughs> thank you. All right, guys. So ensure that you share this episode, tell people about this, and follow Funky Buckner Brute on our social media platforms. Follow the five events and the work that they do. They come highly, highly recommended. Pace setters, standard bearers. Uh, frontier pushers, right? So subscribe to their different services and solutions and make your, your event a world-class one. Until the next time, my name is Damilo Otoyimbo. This is White People Wisdom. Ensure that you remain grateful because you shouldn't be a great fool. So think wisdom where wisdom, spread wisdom, and let's make the world a better place as we make wisdom viral. This episode of White Paper Podcast is proudly sponsored by Kaoshi. Kaoshi, your go-to for international money transfers. Convenient, affordable, made for you. www.kaoshi.network